giveaway. There is a giveaway. That's right, only like a day left on the giveaway. So if you want to enter for a chance of getting yourself a copy of Victoria 2 or Hearts 5 4, then feel free to go ahead and enter that now. Link in the description. Anyway, let's go play a game of Victoria 2. If you didn't know on this channel, I've been doing a series where I play as every great power in Victoria 2. And there's one nation, aka the Netherlands, which actually goes into a great power pretty soon after the game starts, but isn't technically one when it begins. So I'm going to go ahead and play as those today. So it's a tech Oh, wait a sec. I slipped. Whoa, it's too much of a kerfuffle to go back into the main menu now i guess we'll have to go ahead and play as the belgians <laughs> that's pretty interesting looks like i've already got some sleeper agents over here in the netherlands ready to strike if they try and do anything those cheeky dutch bastards <coughs> oh, remember get your belgian lives matter flags in the in the link in the description on, on the iso productions merch store <coughs> and a lot of people want to be belgians from right now the british did send me an alliance which is something i suppose but um it, it is a bit off that they really want to be involved in the whole European affairs, especially with Belgium, but I guess that comes later. Alright, we're really gonna have to fix this money situation because earning three pounds a day is not exactly what I call profitable. If you didn't know, I'm using a mod called HPM, uh, which I don't usually mess with the starting options of it, but I think because we're done with the main series, we're gonna have a bit of fun here. And start off, we're gonna put crises on from the start. Usually they don't happen until 18, 17. We're just gonna enable all these other fun ones. Yeah, there's also an option to enable the East India Company, but apparently it's very buggy. So we're gonna see what happens here. All right, I need to make a quick pit stop to the Bank of Africa and make a very big withdrawal. Ah yes, the Belgian lion. E even the picture of that lion, he looks bored with its existence, just like Belgium. Oh, I gotta say, I really do love the Bank of Africa. It always pays well, although not as great as the Bank of China. Oh, so I've got the Treaty of London now, which is where I have to give up Luxembourg and Limburg, or else uh, everyone gets really angry at me and cuts me down to size. Which uh, it sounds great, you know. I I'm sure. I could take on Britain, France, Russia, just every great power. Yeah, we're just gonna give it up. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, well, well <laughs> at least Sokoto wants to be my friend now. The good thing about Belgium is we actually do start with a few good RGOs. We got coal and iron here, which we could turn into steel and, like, start up a small little, little arms factory and stuff. But, um, late game, only having these two states is gonna be very bad for us. Oh, and I thought you were my best friend, Sakoto, but you won't even join my war against Arrow. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Oh, God. The Belgians are unhappy. What on earth do you have to be unhappy about? You see, the bad thing is, uh, killing these rebels means I'm actually killing my population, and I don't have much of it. But I do have the saxophone. That makes up for the 50,000 people I just killed. Yeah! No real reason for me to take bits of Indonesia. I just kind of like messing with the Dutch. Oh damn, you know something? When even my country has had enough of the Jacobins. Oh, I, I've never seen this before. Yeah, this is end of the revolution. But I get the feeling this isn't going to be the end of the revolution. At uh, there you go. Ah, the ultimate Chad move. I say I just moved all my revolutionaries up north, and now the Dutch are dealing with them. Oh, and the Dutch lost—they oh, lost their revolt, so I actually need to go back to war with them. But I, I get a cut down to size on the Netherlands. That's gonna be pretty fun. Oh, that alliance with Britain really paying off. So for every like on this video, uh, is one extra guy to revolt against me in Belgium. Yeah, I'm sorry about it, Britain, but I don't really fancy being at war with America forever, so I just separate pieced out, and we're just not gonna be friends anymore. Sorry, Britain. Oh, uh, Britain had a revolution. They're a republic now. Excuse me? Right, this is gonna seem a little crazy, but I, a, a little crazy is what we need right now. So it's simple. We we don't lose Brussels and we wait for the Prussians to do all the fighting for us and we might just get a nice bit of land from France. Now, we, we just gotta hope because Germany's war leader that uh, they actually give me my demands and don't just ignore them because th they they could just do that. They could... Moldova... Hanover wants to release my old excuse me. Yeah, my army's pretty small So I just wait for some of the AI to get into a battle then I just rush in and take all the glory um, Just how it's how I'm how I'm winning the war Ah, there we go. Now, you might be wondering why I took this piece of France and I didn't say take us some land off the Netherlands, and it's pretty simple. The culture in this little province over here is Picard, which apparently is part of my culture group, but Dutch isn't. Welcome to Victoria 2! Gee. Oh, France, I don't think this is the time for you to start another war. They're trying to free Lombardia from Austria, and um, I'm just going to say, it's not going 
too well for them. And Prussia's declaring war on us. I'm actually gonna have to join because I can't afford to lose my alliance with them. Why don't you just get a Cass's belly on while off? Where? I, I, I say this every time, okay? But I really don't know where the hell Wolof is. I don't know where any of these tiny nations from, like, West Africa are. I, Wolof. Where is it? Which country is Wolof here? Ah, I can actually do the convention for the Danish Straits, which, if I do correctly, this should give me a hell of a lot of prestige. Okay, so, you know, if I get everyone else to fund it with me, it's 36 prestige. But if I do it myself, that's 122 prestige. Ah! Oh! I'm now the number one most prestigious country in the entire world. Belgium. A bit early for the scramble, but I'm I'm eating up all of this West African stuff as, a, as I can afford to because I need the manpower. Mm. China's not looking too good, is it? Uh, uh, India's not looking too good either by the looks of things. Uh, oh yeah, this? Uh, that's nothing. It's just, you know, just the French declared war on me when I wasn't expecting to get, trying to get that cause back. Just don't worry about it. The, the Prussians are got it covered. Oh my god, I also got the one for the Balkan stability in the middle of my war against France. Oh my god, there's so much prestige! Ah, oh, I can buy Djibouti. I think the Djibouti? Djibouti? I can buy Djibouti. It's a... Uh, it's a nice Djibouti over here in Djibouti. So the East India Company owns some of India, but not all of it. And they're not in Britain's sphere or satellite anymore. So you know what they say, that's free real estate. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to take more off them, but for whatever reason, I can only take coastal provinces. So I'm not really gonna waste my infamy on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and take just this one province, you know, just in case I ever need, need I, I'm probably not gonna need it, am I? Oh my god, I also found the source of the Nile. What the hell do I call it? Uh, lame, lame, Belgica, oh, Lake Brussels! Now this, this is epic. Yes, Kurt, we used to be best buds and all, but it, it, it's scrambling time! Also, of course, I, I'm gonna go ahead and declare war on the Conco. I, I, it'd be a missed opportunity not to. Ah. Uh. Just as it was meant to be. Oh, I just realized that 100% of my population can read, but that's because there's only like 2 million people that are actually my core population. Oh, no. Oh, that is... Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, real intense. Who's going to win the second Saudi civil war? The guy with one unit or the guy with zero units? Oh, oh yeah, don't mind me. Just trying to steal a little bit more of France. Oh, jeez. The tumor is growing. Uh, I don't know what's happening to Germany, but they have 500,000 troops on one province, and they're also getting sieged out by Krakow. Are you not gonna deal with this, Germany? Do you, are you just gonna let the Krakowians take... What? I think Germany's just not home. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of freedom right there. So, you know, I thought to myself, you know what Asia needs? More beige. It just needs more of it. I already tested it out, and Germany doesn't want to join my war against the Netherlands, so I'm going to go ahead and invite my new friend, Russia. And, you know, Albania, too. Ah, sure is a good day to be Belgian. Yeah, Netherlands is also allied with the Austrians, so I'm having to come deal with this as well. Oh, no better place to test the old Belgian tank than against China. So, uh, Yugoslavia has started a great war over Croatia. And because they're in my sphere, I can actually join in on this. This is, uh, is actually the first great war, I think. Actually, no, there's been other great wars before that have been started by the AI, but not one this stupid. So I got the event that happens in great wars where you try to find an ally who is, a, like, a similar statue to your country with the same government type. And, um, I don't know who Hobbio is, honestly, um, but... Uh, apparently, I just got an alliance to hop you. That's my own satellite. They're primitive. Oh, Romania's gone fascist. Every time I try to go fascist myself in these games, it, it always spawns so late that I can never really do it because I've already sorted out my rebel problems by then. Oh, God. Who invited the Americans to the Great War? Who was it? Oh, great. And the Colombians are here, too. Everyone's just invited to the Great War, apparently. <laughs> Even the Japanese have actually brought troops over to fight in France. <laughs> oh, Great War's over, but the Great War against my own country has just begun. I'm looking pretty good, though. France, on the other hand, not looking too good. Yeah, I like how I can reform the Belgian colonial army, but at this point, it's just the army. All of my troops are from my African colonies. Oh boy, we, we really pulled a number on the French. Yes, Great War number two over Catalonia. The only real thing I have to offer in this uh, Great War is my big old navy. It's pretty goddamn big. 
And I am slapping the hell out of the British with it. And I am I, just beating that Navy alone. Put me up to number one military power. That's right, guys. Belgium rules the waves. Oh, yeah, you guys know the drill at this point. Uh, it's a bit difficult this time, though, because the British actually had quite a few troops in Northern Ireland. But I should be able to just put all these African divisions there and hopefully uh, make a big dent. Now, I'd really love to see the battle I'm in right now, but this rebel army is just... Nah, nah, that's, they're more important, apparently. I wasn't able to add war goals, so I looked over to Russia, and Germany sieged the whole thing out. So apparently they've got more war score than me, and I can't add anything. The whole country. Russia is just Germany. Britain's looking pretty good, though, even though I can't add any war goals, so... <laughs> Well, the war is over, and uh, I didn't manage to get any war goals, but I'm pretty sure we did dismantle Britain, but the game is going to end any minute now, as soon as we hit 1936. So this is a pretty good game overall. I did somehow manage to get number one great power, but I think that's because I was occupying Britain for about four years, which killed their economy. And, uh... <laughs> I don't really... Here's the, here's the damage, guys. Uh, Belgium is the number one power. Belgium. <laughs> I, got, I got no idea what happened to Germany's industry either. It's just completely disappeared. Usually they'd have around the same as America out about now, but I, I, I can't even tell you. I don't know how that happened. Well, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, enter the giveaway. Game over, Belgium rules the world.